Le malolactic effervescent, c'est quand le malic acide se transforme en un acide plus acide que lactique. Donc, vous avez des vintages comme like 2007, 2001, où vous avez beaucoup de malic acide. Et le malic acide, c'est très difficile, vous savez, know, c'est hard sur la palette. Ce n'est pas tannique, c'est rush, you know, c'est hard. Donc, vous avez besoin d'avoir ça. Fer second fermentation because the first one it's the alcohol fermentation so you need to have that second fermentation done to soften the wine usually like right now uh, most of the, the the cellar is went through the malolactic already the tank or the barrel and it really uh, it, it all depends you know you, you take uh, let's say for instance 2003 2003 We had a vineyard, one of our Grand Cru, Vaudésir, we didn't have any malic acid. That's all for the onologists, it's very exceptional. So we didn't have to do the fermentation, there was no malic. Because of the heat, you know, because of the, or maybe in a sense, over maturation. But uh, beside 2003, usually every year we do the malolactic fermentation. But it's a natural process. We don't, you know, you can, you, we, I know that now you can add some bacteria to provoke the process of malalactic, but uh, Fabien, uh, we actually prefer to have it all natural. And when we talk about fermentation, for the 2008, for the first year, all the cellar will have natural alcoholic fermentation on the wild yeast. We didn't we decide not to use any yeast to help the fermentation. Because in a sense, when we use yeast to start the fermentation, of course, it's each premier cru or each grand cru different will still be different, but by adding those uh, yeast, in a certain way, we believe, you know, you level from one parcel to another. By not using any yeast to have the alcohol fermentation, I think the terroir from each parcel will come out naturally.